welcome to this hands-on demo of Pun Hunter. Over the next couple of minutes, we want to put you in the shoes of one of our scientists to show you how our analysis platform is used. Everything you see is happening in real time. For today's demo, we are looking at data from a Panomic Tox project generated with our ScreenSec protocol. More specifically, we're using transcriptomics data from the human cancer HEPA-RG cell line that can be differentiated into hepatocyte-like cells. These were used to analyze the toxic effects of several tool compounds. Each treatment is available at eight different concentration levels plus negative controls. And we will see two replicate plates with identical composition. First, we will show Pananta's capability to run a quick yet comprehensive quality control to check consistency between the plates. Second, we will show seamless data exploration of the different compounds and treatment levels. And finally, we will run a differential analysis for different concentration levels to investigate the molecular response of the treated cells with just a few clicks in PunHunter. Here we are on the PunHunter start page, where we see all the dedicated apps for the different steps of data analysis. We will begin with the sample QC app to investigate the consistency of our two demo plates. For our project, we were using ScreenSec, Evotech's proprietary 384 well plate based transcriptomics protocol for an untargeted analysis of the coding mRNA. Since sequencing of all reads from all wells of the 384 well plate is performed in a single run, an important QC parameter is the distribution of reads between the different wells and compounds. For this, we have a dedicated section in the sample QC app to look for the read distribution in plate-based RNA-seq experiments. In the left part of the screen, we select our two sample plates. Next, we tell PunHunter to show the read distribution by different parameters. First, let us look at the plate rows. Here, all reads for one row are pooled and we see, for each plate separately, that the read distribution is quite similar. When switching to columns, we see only a few columns with deviant behavior, but this is easily explainable by the plate design, because here we already see effects of the different treatments and controls. Finally, let us look at the distribution between the different concentration levels. Here, only the highest concentrations show a reduction in reads, which is most likely explained by the onset of cytotoxic effects at the highest concentration levels. After all, with this quick look into the QC information, PunHunter conveniently showed us that we have a quite balanced read distribution within this dataset. Coming back to the start page of PunHunter, we can now move on to the new comparison app to explore the data in more detail. Again, we first select the two plates and all corresponding samples. In the sample clustering tab, we get a two-dimensional plot with all individual samples, shown as individual dots. Here, we're looking at the principal component analysis, or PCA, for all samples. PCA is a commonly used dimensionality reduction method that is necessary because each sample here encodes the expression level for up to 20,000 human genes. We have colored the samples according to the plate. We can see that both plates show a very similar distribution, even though there is a small plate effect indicated by the slight offset of the overlap. However, with PunHunter it is easily possible to correct for this plate effect in silico by activating the respective option. As a result, both sample clouds overlap even better. If we were absolutely naive about this dataset, we could use exploratory analysis to identify genes that are driving the distribution of samples here in the plot. However, since we also have a lot of meta information available, we can use their categorical variables first to run an analysis. In the results table, shown below the plot, we see several high scoring categories. Concentration and amount 1, which are quite similar, as well as treatment. These results make perfect sense. The fact that we see the wells showing up here is easily explainable by the plate design. Controls in certain treatments with distinct expression profiles are co-localized on the plate and responsible for this pattern. Now let us use this information to change coloring from plate to treatment. In addition, we set the symbol style to indicate the used concentration levels with the negative controls labeled as unknown. 
As a result, we can see what is quite common for a toxicology study. For low concentrations of different compounds, we see a cloud of samples with quite similar gene activity. With increasing concentration levels, the cells start to react to the treatment and follow a linear path away from the cloud until, at the highest concentration, gene expression changes dramatically. We can also see that the cells apparently react different to different drugs, which is not unexpected. To focus on one drug only and investigate the effects of different drug concentrations, we will now focus on other thioprine and deselect all other treatments. As a result, Pananta shows us an updated plot. To run a differential analysis in which we compare the highest concentration against the lowest, we switch to the new comparison tab and type in the respective formula to indicate which metadata variable we want to use for formal testing. Here it's the amount. Next, Panhunter is informing us that we might want to include the technical batch as a cofactor to moderate the previously seen batch effect. This is actually a good idea, so we will add that as well. Before we can start the analysis, we quickly select amount again as the contrast factor and indicate that we want to compare the highest concentration, con8, against the lowest concentration, con1. A click on calculate starts the differential analysis. After a short moment of calculation, we are presented with the results table below. It shows the genes, including a lot of additional information, that were identified to have significantly different expression levels for the two selected conditions. At this point, we could look into the list of genes to better understand what is happening within the cells. However, Panhunter also has a dedicated app to study the results of differential analysis. It is called the Top Tables app. Here we see two differential analyses that have been run in the very similar fashion as the one we just did. One where con8 was compared to con1, so the highest against the lowest concentration, and another for comparing con7, the second highest concentration, again with the lowest concentration. Starting from these lists of differential expressed genes, we can now look into downstream analysis, for example enriched pathways or gene ontology terms. Let us have a look into the pathways, which can be done quite conveniently by clicking on the respective link. Here Pananta shows us a list of enriched pathways. This means a significantly large number of genes from the list of differentially expressed genes is associated to this particular pathway. Here we see, for example, the pathway for oxidative stress apparently triggered by the high concentration of other theoprine. By clicking it, we get a graphic representation from wiki pathways of that pathway with all associated genes shown as blocks. The color of those blocks indicates whether the gene is up or down regulated, or not regulated at all. And the color intensity corresponds to the change in expression level. So for example, we can see that the FOS gene is shown to be upregulated, which is known as an early response gene to toxic stress inducing other antioxidative genes. But there is more we can do here. We can select an additional top table from another differential analysis. We will use the second top table that we've already seen earlier, where the second highest concentration level, CON7, was compared to the baseline, CON1. Once selected, the changes in gene expression for both top tables are shown directly within the pathway visualization. The gene blocks are split in half and the values from each top table are shown directly next to each other. Okay, and this already concludes our very short demo of only a few of the many options Panhata provides for data analysis in the toxicity space. I hope you could see how easily and quickly you can extract valuable information from your data while always making sure you're using robust analysis algorithms.